A Golden Age in Spain, the Arabic Conquest of Spain, the Rise of Islam and the Impact on Spanish Civilization. In Spain, Islam flourished and coexisted with the Christian and Jewish communities of the peninsulas throughout a century of immigration, conquest, and administration. Beginning in 711, Berbers invaders brought Islam to a central position in Spain. Eastern scholars of law and philosophy immigrated to the flourishing court. Poets developed new styles based in Arabic but also influenced by local Spanish and Latin forms. Muslims built monumental structures to show their dominance. One of the monuments that still remain is the Court of Lyon in the Alhambra Palace, built in the 14th century. The elegance of this courtyard with its central fountain and a dozen stone lions whose mouths are water pots, testifies to the power of the last Islamic kingdom left in Spain. During the Islamic administration, Christians and Jews were allowed to retain their religion by paying a tax. By the 14th century, Christianity had become triumphal and intolerant. Thanks to a movement the Christian leaders, Ferdinand and Isabella, organized. Jews and Muslims were forced to accept Christianity, although many of them continued practicing their original religion in secret. The Roman Catholic Church established the Spanish Inquisition to hunt down those suspected of being insincere convert, whether Jews called Moranos or Muslims called Moriscos. About 2,000 people were burned at the stake. By 1541, Muslim rule in Spain was broken. The use of Arabic language was banned in Spain. The Golden Age of a religious tolerance and cultural exchange was over. The influence of Arabic in Spain still maintains its presence, not only for the monumental structure, but also for their lifestyles, beginning from music, cooking, and the presence of Arabic words on the Spanish language. One of the most noticeable words is ojalá, which means hopefully. It's clear that this word refers to Allah, the Muslim God. It's important to know the origin of our past and the cultural connection we share which make us all brothers and sisters. Even though we come from different parts of the world, we are connected. The result of all those events that happened during this time are very important for human history. My name is Luis. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this topic.